Thank God it's Friday. Welcome to the show. I am Morayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I never do this alone. I have the ladies with me. Hello. Excellent. Why do you have a brush on your lap? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> do I have a brush on my lap? No, you don't. I was uh -huh. just joking. How are you doing, Obi I'm thinking I'm lazy, you know. It's a very cold day. Yeah, it was a know. struggle getting up Good. this morning. Yeah, yeah, it was a battle, really. <laughs> so um, I'm great. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Yeah. I have a lot that's going to be happening this weekend. I, I love pray I get to. Thank you. So <laughs> I pray I get to rest. Um, my book club, we're having our first review for 2020 tonight, 9 okay. p.m. Okay. And you don't want to know the title of the book. Okay. You're okay. a badass. I'm <laughs> telling you, <Right. laughs> Jen Sincero. Yeah. It's a book that's going to help people, you know, stop uh, stop doubting themselves yeah. and get into their greatness. So, how does this work? You just tell you give, you send out the books to them to read, okay. and you guys come together to We're review. We're in a platform okay. on Telegram. So, what we do is I put up a book for the month. Right. We break it down into chapters. Right. So we have we share the chapters to cover the four weeks in the month. Right. So every Friday night we meet and we do a review of the chapters, chapters for the week. Oh, now we we'll plan cool. out what we want to what we've learned from it what we want to you know the action plan nice. to nice. carry on and all that yeah. then on saturday so these are all self help books yeah self development okay. books basically right. then on saturday i'm taking the kids out my daughter will be going back to school on sundays yeah. i want them to have fun, have fun. and That's all nice. that <laughs> oh good good alaja this uh, is like an alaja today this morning oh, oh go ahead yes. so 7 years ago the, yeah. a day like this i got into labor and I had oh, put oh, Gufran. Right, oh, right. Is Gufran's birthday? Esio Gena. Oh, not today, right. tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh, Esio Gena, Amiele Zidri. She's such a gift to me. Mm. And the way she's growing. I just looked at her this morning. We've not had this point when I get home, Sha. But you know, I'm just grateful to God for her. Mm. She gave me a name. Yes, she, she, I almost got the name that's not my own, so yeah, she gave mm. yeah, She friend. wiped your tears. Don't get teary this mm. morning, mm. they are very she, strong. She, you know, um, Donna Agunaike had written a poem on infertility, and she had reached out to me to get it popular. It's called, uh, Call Me By My Name. Mm. And Donna doesn't know that I'm very attached to her poem, her works, and I went down memory lane, listening to the spoken words, because it's on her uh, page on Instagram, and, and I kept remembering how Gufan changed my name. Mm. Mm. I just, you know, I'm just grateful to God for that. And then it's um, Muleye Bisi Lucas's birthday today. Ah. Color is blue. And the only blue thing in my wardrobe is this judge. judge is <laughs> we can so, see it. <laughs> we shall be there in our judge. Wow. But I'm grateful to God. I'm just grateful. That's Tomorrow it. is also the reunion for the Akashat's family. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You are not see one point. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, I totally forgot about the birthday party. You guys didn't remind us. I don't no, know. There's, no, there's no birthday party for Gufan, actually. I'm talking about um, the Elijah uh, Lucas. The uh, BC Lucas, yeah. yes, it's today. I didn't know it was today. That's oh. somewhere in BIA. Mm, ah, yeah. I guess I, I know my bike had mentioned the bike. I can't mm -hmm. remember, I didn't get the details. Mm. She's turning it to something. Wow, wow. Good thing. how are you doing? Yes. I'm fine, thank you. I mean, it's so cold, guys. My mom says it's terribly cold in Joss, you know, and mm -hmm. um, the kids, Lagos uh, is cold like this, Joss yeah. must be winter. So, uh, my children are <laughs> my mom says, my, my daughter was like, Grandma, this is not, this is cotton. Cotton is not warm. Please. <laughs> I said, oh, so now you even know the different she types of fabrics <laughs> because of the cold. Oh, wow. So I missed them. Looking forward to seeing them soon. Um, real oh, soon. Next, you next week, they should uh, be back. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. That's good. Mm. How are you home. doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm doing very well. I'm actually, I'm actually okay. Um, you look really pretty today. I, thank yeah. you so much. I'm just, <laughs> I was just, I was staying in the makeup room. I was really happy because I was, I was happy to get a driver in yesterday mm. just for him not to show up this morning i mean we had a com good conversation it's a good driver he tells me that he has to go and ask his pastor if he can take the job i mean i don't know i don't I'm get gone. it first of all he told me that he can't make it on tuesdays because of a uh, prayer meeting mm. no problem i said i'm a christian i can understand i'll let you go tuesdays mm. but now then he now says okay i have to go to my pastor to go and find out if i can take the job yeah, i don't know why in nigeria he's a young guy he's, like, a, he's like maybe late 20s mm. this is a, i mean you probably be praying to god for 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 breakthrough mm. you now got a new job you want to take second. permission from the god for the I, I don't i don't understand how nigerian youth it's, it's, it's really painful but you know what it's all good i mean i'll, I'll, I'll get another driver hopefully oh. somebody that is more responsible he's lost this mm. one now mm. of course i'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bring it back he's not ready okay it's friday we got a major celebrity in the building yes, yes, yes. we're excited yes, to yes. have her but first we'll go through the front pages of the newspaper stay with us we'll be right back
Thanks for staying with us. We're going to start with The Nation. Why I'm Constantly Under Attack by Oshomali. Tension in Kwara as government pulls down Saraki's buildings. How Sani extorted $24,000 from me. Oyo anti-grazing law breach of our rights. Ndidi ehianacho in terrific festive form. Okay, so Oshama, the major headline, who has a no, quora? Is the quora state? Go ahead. ahead. So um, the, uh, the Ilya Rugbo, the House of Convergence for the PDP in Kwara State, which is supposed to be the Saraki's ancestral home, which according to the spokesperson, the chief press secretary to the governor is not because the family home, the ancestral home is somewhere in Ab uh, uh, Igbaji, in Kwara State as well. But then that house was demolished yesterday, partly demolished, and it was seriously <coughs> resisted by their supporters, elderly people, and um, uh, the former Senate president has written to say thank you for all for standing up for what you believe in. But the Kwara State is insisting this house, has, this whatever occupancy, whatever rights you have, has been revoked and reclaimed by the government because, of course, it, they believe it didn't conform. Now, the governor of the state owns all properties within the state legally, mm -hmm. and it must be seen to be judiciously done. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd rather that, instead of having people fighting back and forth, the Sarakis can actually go to court, and if this reclaiming of this property does not conform with the law, they can get it back. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they should not allow people descend to that point where the other grass story. is suffering. Yeah, Shehu Sani, go ahead, please. Yes, I mean, 2020 is not looking good for Shehu Sani. Um, so you remember he said yesterday that he was looking forward to a face to face with his accuser. The accuser insists that he collected ten thousand from him, ten thousand dollars. Also collected five million because he said he dropped the name of the CJ and I said he was also going to give um, some of the judges monies for you know to help with the case. And then came back and said, Well, it's not working and that's when he asked for an additional ten thousand for the EFCC boss. And the man was like, the man said, I asked him that. Everybody says Magu is incorruptible. Are you sure? He says, don't worry, he's my friend. I will sort you out. And so he did. And after that, he kept calling him, you know, to find out how things were going. He, you know, he didn't say anything. So this man now reported him to EFCC. And that's how EFCC got involved. And so he's insisting that he took monies from him. And he's returned 25,000, you know, in de um, December. And he's still kept in custody. But Shea Ustani insists that he's innocent and right. this is all fabricated. Let's talk about the Oyo anti grazing law. Yes, so right. headers in Oyo State have sued the government and um, the House of Assembly over the recently passed anti grazing law. Prior to that, they had appealed while the bill was still in, you know, uh, undergoing the readings, appealed to the House and um, the state government to give them an alternative grazing space. You know, but then the one of the ha uh, House members spoke to them and told them that um, they shouldn't be afraid of the law, that this law is actually to protect them because they believe that the people who come to cause all of those mayhem are outsiders. They are outside headers, not from that mm. you know, environment. They've known the headers who've lived in Oyo State for years, who have intermarried them, so they know them. So they are trying to create a law that would protect them mm. and give them more like... Um, they, they'll be able to register them exactly. so that they can tell where you're from, where you're located in case of all these um, clashes that we, they were having. But they are saying that um, it's a breach of their fundamental yes. human rights. That's exactly what the people yeah. say. Moving on now to the punch. Minimum wage negotiations, labor soft pedals as 15 states miss December 31st deadline. Truck crushes four in Lagos, Ibano Expressway. I started planning Abuja bank robbery in October, says banker. Kora demolishes Saraki's houses on revoked land. Group kicks. Boko Haram herdsmen undermining a Greek sector, says World Bank. My life in danger over 2023, uh, says PDP Beauty Chair. And court extends Adoki's ext uh, detention by 14 more days. This truck that crushed for, I mean, it was it's, really sad. These yeah, are those guys was, that hang on the trucks. Yes, they were actually hanging on the trucks. Yes, tr the, the truck was coming all the way from the north with those two bars of yam and had about 14 passengers. Mm -hmm. They were all on top of the yams and then when the uh, driver lost control, control the right. truck fell and four of them were crushed yeah. dead and you see these guys all the time, all the time. You know, the, the, yeah, yeah i remember on the uh, the, uh, the first one <coughs> i was coming to work there was this one sitting right at the very top with his earphones yeah. no, you know that. on looked like he was sleeping i'm like he doesn't he didn't even have that alert. consciousness that this yeah. may be dangerous yeah. for me isn't right. there a way they can yeah. send down their yams and find their way 
So they don't get anyway, any the robbers so were the um, bank that was robbed. They finally got the last person who's involved, yes. who is a um, customer care officer of the bank. And his name is Larry Ehizo. Mm -hmm. And the story really is that he said he did it because he was greedy. He worked in the bank. He studied how the security works, the CCTV, <laughs> and he figured, why not? I can do this. Unfortunately for you know? he actually went to go and get amateurs. So what he did was that one of the, one of the customers that came to the bank, yes. he, he interviewed them. I mean, they had a conversation. He knew he helped him with the problem. And that took his number. Two days later, calls him and said, oh, let us go and do this operation. Can you hear me gather some boys? Mm -hmm. Now he's going to get some motorbikes, uh, to try, uh, motor, oh. motorcycle, motorcycle Riders, car, that guy. Yeah. Uh, a few other people he knew. Obviously, they're all amateurs. Brought hey. them together. And obviously, the plan was foiled because they were not experts at this. And um, eventually, they confessed. Because they that, on that day they were actually looking for a driver that morning of the robbery. They, looked, they didn't find it. They never found that the guy that was supposed to drive didn't know how to drive. Mm -hmm. So it was obviously a bunch of amateurs that had no Should idea be, what they were yeah. doing. And obviously it was easy for them for the for the police to throw in tear gas and then disarm them totally. In Let's way, take any other story. The major headline, you take your labor story. Yes, your labor story. I saw you reading it, so I left it, but <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just but the same, yeah. same old, same old. Mm. Some states have agreed to pay. Other states are still negotiating. Some haven't mm. even commenced. So 15 states missed the deadline, yes. but they told um, the labor that they are actually had the conversion has started. There's a new yeah. concern and for me as regards this um, thing. So the adjustment was signed into law by April. And some people are getting retired out of the system. Are they going to be on the old order or this one that gov state governors are delayed, delayed well, to pay? Well, the, the, the issue they're having is the fact that Labour is not is trying to ensure that everybody has started the conversation. Yes. Those who haven't started the conversation should on this go ahead. So are the should ones be taken in retrospect. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I exactly. think a few states have already agreed yes, to pay them. Pay yes. Areas. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Moving on now to Vanguard. <coughs> Tension in Illinois as Quara government demolishes late Saraki's Ilya Rugbo home. Anti-open grazing law, Fulani heard us sue or your government assembly. We were right to detain Shawore Dasuki's despite court orders. Okay. My mission to end godfatherism in a doses of Baseki. And Dangote remains richest man in Africa. Who has your Baseki story? So my governor my <laughs> <laughs> was addressing um, APC supporters that visited him in those state saying that he himself, himself and his predecessor had agreed to end godfatherism. In Edo State. In fact, the predecessor had called on him that this was the objective and they worked together to end it, and that he's surprised that his predecessor has, you know, retracted that and he's trying to establish Godfatherism. And, you know, he did a lot of boasting along with that. But there's an event coming up in my town, Auchi Day, 23rd edition, and the two of them are supposed to meet at that event. Please, so why people mourn and hide from the house? Mm. <laughs> Fighting for this two elephants. He also said that brass. it was, the, it was the fight against Godfatherism that even got him as a technocrat in mm -hmm. the government in the first place. Mm -hmm. So he was surprised that. Um, um, yeah, changed his the, mind. The, the, uh, Shemin had changed his mind on that. <laughs> Moving on now to Daily Sun. <clears throat> Quara government descends on Saraki. <clears throat> Federal government rights to detain Chowere Dasuki despite court order, says Malami. Ah. Enugu Airport's ready in April, says the minister. Mm. Kaduna Abuja bound train stoned, not attacked, says management. Um, banks failed to comply with CBN's directives on ATM, other charges customers kick. And six die, four injured in Lagos, about an expressway, so, Niger crashes. Two stories quickly. The, let me start with the Kaduna <coughs> um, um, train. So the Abuja Kaduna tra uh, bound train was attacked, and the stories are now varying. One is saying that. Uh, it was by armed robbers. Another one is saying the railway corporation is saying it was young boys who stoned Where? the carriage, the windows of the carriages of the uh, train. But the cocoa is that there was an attack, whether by stone, because this is a trend. Mm -hmm. You used to be on the Abuja uh, Lokoja Road that stones were used to attack vehicles to stop them, and you know from there you have attacks. I hope that. They investigate it properly. Train, I would though. like to get it clear. Yeah, this is a trend. I, no, I'm just saying that stone mm. does not make it not a, an, an attack. attack. Okay. Because the railway corporation is saying because it's stone, it's not an attack. I it has to be bullets. Right. No, 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 no. The thing, so, the, why it's important is because that story went viral. Uh, and before the reason, it, it was as if they were armed men, <laughs> gunmen who had eggs. sprayed bullets. And see, oh. you know, eggs. So eggs are used to attack. I know, uh -huh. but it's important so, for us to know that that I, was not I just want case. to know the position of the police, whether this has been investigated, whether it's a simple thing we can wave away, or whether it's something serious we okay, should work Okay, let's talk about Shoreen. That's okay. Who uh -huh, that's our AGF said that 
uh, not all court orders are to be obeyed. Mm. Uh, or it to be. You didn't say like, like that. I mean, I quote mm. the yeah, so I think what he was saying. Quote in quote. I will tell you what I he can't, said. Okay, I, I, uh, I don't have to quote him. So what he right said to detain to read that's okay, that's okay. despite court orders. Orders, so they're not to obey court orders. Okay. That's what he's saying, and he's trying to justify the long detention of uh, Dasuki okay. and the recent one of Mal uh, of Showere. And what I understand as a lawyer is that. Every case, you have a right to ver uh, to vary an order of court or appeal it. Yes. And pending that, you have to get an, an execution, a, a stop of a stay of execution order yes. to stall the status quo for you to get, go on that appeal. It's not that you will the way it was done because what that we wasn't done. We should arrest. That, just that, that's him. not the yeah, way. Even yeah. the Dasuki. After every court order, we arrest him for a new charge. After and eventually just hold him forever. Yeah. Mm. So I think as an AGF of learned, uh, you should put it in proper perspective so that some of us that are upcoming that are just learning this thing <laughs> will not get confused. Yes, <laughs> true. True. He's very clever. You're very correct, Jerry. Uh, moving on to daily trust because teacher don't teach me no. No, <laughs> 3,479 petitions filed in four election cycles. Lagos will invest heavily in transportation in 2020. Mm. All starts 2020 higher um, on trade optimism, Middle East tensions. Uh, Malami justifies the Sukhan Jore's detention and why I can't resign as APC chairman says <coughs> or Shomali. Okay, Lagos. Lagos State, yes. So uh, the governor, Babajide Sanwoli, is saying that um, Lagos is going to be prioritizing investments majorly in transportation. Mm -hmm. So they are going to be focusing on the waterways and um, the rail station, saying that Lagos has a large body of water that has not been tapped into. And that way, when all those are sorted, the rail, the water, will have fewer uh, uh, commuters on the road. So mm -hmm. they are also going to be partnering with a lot of organizations to help them achieve this purpose like alongside the the budget that right. was signed yeah. you know it's a very huge amount yeah. of money yeah in addition to all the capital expenditure we need to also train our drivers mm -hmm. and all those who will be you know driving all this mm -hmm. very because really I, I i'm not sure of their state of mind one brt driver went off his lane and almost pushed me off the road today Those you know guys are so also, now we are putting uh, um, legotians on the waterways i beg we need people who no, understand right, no, yeah. for it. Yes. and also yeah, right. i also i just hope that the government should not forget the buses at the port remember somebody had brought in okay. some points yeah, and the case right. is still and they are the ports yeah, no no they, remember they, the, we had about is it 500, 500 or something, or something that was uh, yes. still in the ports mm -hmm. and this ongoing battle with i um, he got the permission or did not get permission it's not these buses are going to be dilapidating there and we need these buses on the road so yeah they need to sort out that issue i thought i saw them packed at the bus stand, you know, should be heard. Maybe they've been moved from the So port. I think they've well, been cleared. But, it should just bring but waterways out. is a serious business. It For is. someone like me, it would be a big relief. The only fear is the coastal guard and not the other city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to run off now, but uh, I must mention that this day has a list of, remember yesterday they had a list of 20 men that would ship 2020. Well, these are their women counterparts, and it's interesting to see people like Chimamanda. I'm ah, excited that yes, so these are people that are going to shape um, Nigeria in 2020. Yes. And of course, Abika Dabri is there, yes. and if you are, no. this is uh, Senator Remitinumbu is there, yes. and quite a few others. Okonjo Wella. Oh, I haven't mm, seen her in a minute. But yes. well, it's good to see that Okonjo Wella mm, is good. still making waves wherever she is. All right, let's go on a break now. When we come back, we have lots of topics to discuss. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We'll be back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Yes, she remains one of Nigeria's most successful actors who began her career in film back in the 1990s. She has featured in over 300 Nigerian movies, both in, in English and Yoruba language, and is still very relevant today in the industry. With several awards to her name, welcome yes. with us, the one and only Jackie. <laughs> The oh, the thank you. <laughs> thank you for such a you wonderful know, I intro. I'll tell you guys something. You know, she asked for lashes. Like, you know, I do lashes, you know. You know, 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 you Thank you so Good much questions. for having me. Thank right, so you. we're going to go straight to our topic. Then later we'll come to your interview. Okay. So, right, there's a story. Uh, that how okay I'm trying to even get Tim Kolo yes um, he was a tweet said that Christian followers should invest their money rather than use it to sow seeds at the request of their pastors according to him God's blessing is not for sale mm. and they shouldn't allow themselves to be manipulated by pastors hmm 
People are now asking, what are your thoughts on this? Because this is fast food season, whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> I would like to hear your thoughts. You can call us on 70 You can also tweet us at TVC. Can I please hashtag your TVC so we can read your tweets? Some of us are Christians. Some of us believe in this concept of fast food. I know it's not everybody that believes it, mm -hmm. but many of us believe that your first salary of the year should at least be invested in God. Others are saying, hey, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's, it's all about um, your tithing mm -hmm. or whatever you believe between you and God. I see that, but when he's telling us now, according to Timmy Dakulu, that don't go and carry your money to the pastors. I mean, do you feel that there's a misconception here in this whole, well, well, he, he's really trying to advise people otherwise? Let me come to you first. Is this not the same Timmy that had a fight with Freeze when he was talking about tithing? Uh, I don't yeah. understand. Yes, he, <laughs> they had this major debate on tithing when Freeze was saying there was no points for tithing, and he came out to support tithing. So I don't understand where he's coming from now. Message, not the messenger. Eh, eh, all of them join. <laughs> we need to, we, we need to, you know, look, you need to dig deep Maybe into the cause. Come to okay, his eyes have opened. Yeah, but I wouldn't, uh, you know, personally advise people on how they want to spend their money. Okay. Even if I want to do that, I, I, I have to make it holistic in such a way that I won't just single out the pastors or the church. There are mm. other ways people spend money. This festive uh, period, people buy tables for shows. He's a musician. He sells, you know, he shows out. And people buy tables. People invest in, you know, uh, buying their clothes, their hair. There are several ways people waste money. So if you want to in advise people to spend wisely, make it holistic. Don't just single out the church. People will always spend money where they think they get value from. So if I believe that my pastor is, you know, is giving me value, preaching, God and is making giving me, value, yeah, no, 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 let's start from, now, who are they give the money? Now the pastor. Now Even God if I say it's God, it's pastor I'm giving it to, he will <laughs> now hand it over to God, however he wants to do that. <laughs> if I believe that I'm getting value, I can spend my money as long as at the end of the day, I'm not, I don't go begging mm. other people to survive. Right. Okay, yeah. guys, let me you know, come to you. That you know, your thoughts. You are like you, eh? you go, you can't come back. <laughs> so, Timmy could have changed his mind. The person is allowed to mature, yeah. mm -hmm. and grow, and unlearn and relearn. Yeah. So you don't, you don't unlearn the thing if you didn't before. Okay. And then, <laughs> where the thing touch you? Now there you go from advice. Now the from pastor home, he touch boss me. Mm. Boss can call Please us. speak normal English. Yeah, no, 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 Money well, uh, yes. Also, people don't do that in December, finish now. They are broke, <laughs> they don't even want to and then you are compelled because you know, like this 2020, you just they get your vision January 1 and you want to do first. I okay, think it well. What exactly do you want? Timmy can call. I'm not going to talk about Christianity, but I know that they do Oadura in Islam, and I always okay. complain about it. Somebody is naming, naming. I do not remember the prophet's examples of collecting Oadura. One of us will just hold all of us for hours. People, they're hungry. You will not finish your prayer. You say, some Oadura. Is the money going to transport prayer to God? That is it. So it's the same logic. You should have a be very strong relationship with your God. This morning, mm -hmm. when we were talking about, uh, Mrs. Joker mentioned that have a relationship that is very clear mm. with your God. Mm. It's yeah. a God direct relationship, no intermediaries. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. come to our guests. Let me come to you. Okay, okay. so for me, I, um, there are particular things I think as a Christian, tithing for me, I believe in tithing. Um, the first fruit thing, you know, is something that I struggle I with, mm. you know, so, and I think that's a personal thing. But there are, the other, there are things that I do not agree with. You know, these building projects <laughs> and things like that. And it's so into the mm. house of so God. I'm five. thinking, yeah. So my own, my thinking is, pastors, let's do it this way so that you even get more people to, you know, give their money. Make it like shares. Let people buy the shares so that when you build it, it's all, it's our church. Do you yeah. understand? Yeah. And then at the end of the year, you are giving people yeah. dividends. You yeah. see, more people, yes, people will pay. No, 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 even the pastors, it's a business because <laughs> when they come and uh, put money for the um, house of God, after the house of God is built, it's not God's name you see on the paper. It's Mero. the pastor's name yes, you see on the hey. paper. So let's just no, make the it clear. The church's name. Mero. 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 The church the church. Mero. 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 There's a CEO of that church. Okay. And well, the well, end is the church and the board of the I know the conversation is, not, I don't want us to put pastors on trial. Yeah. Yeah. That's not what it's about. Yeah. 
It's about the fact that uh, uh, he's saying invest your money properly. Yeah. And you made a point that it's not just about going to putting your money in churches. Mm. But the truth is that we've spent a lot of money this December. Mm -hmm. And now it's a new year and people are thinking, oh, the only the easiest way to success is for me to invest in God. Let me just Ew. give this mm -hmm. money to God and you know what? It's all come back. What would you advise Nigerians, especially now <laughs> in, this, in this skin? What are your thoughts on this? Do you agree with me? Well, I, I always am always a bit shy about advising people about anything, <laughs> you know, but um, I do know that in the Old Testament, mm. it just says that we should bring our fruits to the Lord and, you know, we should try him and, you know, and see what he can do that, you know. Um, but in the New Testament, they, they're not really talking about tithing at all in the New Testament. Yes. But what the Lord does say in the New Testament is love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul. You know, that mm. is the first commandment. So it is, again, for me, your relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Now, I've spent money in December. Mm. I have school fees to pay, to pay mm -hmm. in January. Well, well, Heavenly you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, this I is the money you. I have. <laughs> I must pay the fees. Otherwise, I will have to go and meet somebody to pay <laughs> the fees. Yeah. And the person that I'm going to meet also have fees it's to okay. pay. So, Heavenly Father, you understand. Wait till February. <laughs> no, <laughs> Heavenly Father, you understand. You will bless me because you are my daddy yeah. now. So you understand. So I will pay what I have to pay without having to disturb other people, just like you mm, said. Yeah. yeah. Mm, so interesting. Let's go to quick break. Come back and we'll continue this conversation. <laughs> Stay with us so very bad. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So, BC, are you saying that we shouldn't now pay? Okay, well, I agree with everybody, what everybody has said, that we should actually invest that money wisely. Yeah. But at the same time, it's between, it's between you and God. Mm. Whatever you've decided with God, do yeah. it. But yeah. what, would you, what would you advise generally in, in this season? Okay, so I, there was a time where I just gave my life to Christ and I was really burning for the Lord at that time and I could hear my spirit give me certain instructions. Now the problem I have with the body of Christ is when an instruction is given to a, one person, they bring it to the congregation that God has ordered us to do this. But it's always not so. So there was a time I, I used to you know, squeeze money when you go to the market, <laughs> the remaining change is what you squeeze for offering. But then I was given an instruction to plan my offering and give something nice. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a general, I had people I was ministering to, I had a congregation to myself. But I didn't go and say, oh, God has commanded us to now make sure you plan your, you know, calculate it, give this percent and all. It was personal to me. And so when I changed my offering personally, nobody knew about it till the day I just, you know, I was giving a testimony. A, a testimony and I talked about it. So it was personal. As you walk with God, you listen to him. If he needs you to use your first fruit, he has already made provision for you mm. and you will get it back. Yes. Remember yes. Abraham when he told yes. him <coughs> to go and kill your son at the altar. altar. Yes. He made provision lying there. Abraham had no idea. Now imagine if Abraham did not hear when he said stop and killed his son. He would have blamed God that God gave me a son and took it. Mm. So or if Abraham asked everybody else in his family well, to bring their son. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Miriam. You see, so... For me, it, it has to do with the work you have. So if you have yeah. been given, you, you know you heard though, not that you are guessing because Nima gave her own. Let me give <laughs> you on your own. Don't come and beg me for school fees. We are all planning. There, there are also better <laughs> ways have a call. I'll come to you. I have a call from Play to State. Good morning. Are you there? Yes, Just, I'm it's good. calling Just, right? Yes, I'm calling from Just. Yes, go ahead. Thanks for calling. Yes. Um, uh, <laughs> both commandments for us to invest in this work. Uh, just like the way we say our type. And uh, the advice of uh, Dapolo, uh, to me, uh, I don't know the angle it's coming from. So, uh, for instance, you know, for some time, so sometimes the day, uh, I think his household was having a problem with a pastor. So probably because of that bitterness, is giving out such uh, advice. Nah, that nah, is to me. Nah, 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 he's even going so to decide as 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 this one now. It is one belief. Right. You know, if you believe that God, uh, you know, as you do well for you, <clears> as you do good to you, 
You, I mean, there is nothing stop one from investing in those uh, projects. Mm. There is okay. nothing wrong with, with that. Thanks for your views. Yeah. Okay, yes. You know what? N see, Nigerians, I, underneath that tweet, there were so many people saying, is it because your wife had issues with Koza pasta mm. and things like that? We need to stop doing that, you know? There's a message, and whether we like, whether we agree with it or not, you know, there are different ways we can disagree with someone. And also, he's not saying anything bad. He's advising Nigerians on how to use your money wisely. wisely. Look at the example of the, your driver who got a job. First thing in the new year, you get a job, and you didn't show up for the job because maybe you had to meet your pastor, and your pastor would say, do not go. So we have that uh, mentality where sometimes it's as if we put our brains on pause mm. and then not do what we are meant to do. So what Timmy Dakulo I see is trying to say is, see, if you have some money to invest in a business, we have, we have these agribusiness people that come and talk about investing as little as 15,000, you know, okay. you put that money aside, it grows, you're able to tithe more, you're able to, have to, run up you're able to put mm. into building projects. Oh, so it's not well, about let me let you say his together. relationship with the talk church about or not. Other ways to invest. So if, you're, if it is about your relationship with God and that you feel that you must do something, God loves those who help their neighbors yeah. and the needy around them. <laughs> There are is, uh, uh, groups, agencies, um, the one I work with, the Dockers Cancer Foundation, people who are actually meeting needs and they are stuck empty of funds. If you give those, you would have touched someone's life and God Perfectly. always, always pays that back. Yeah. Yes. All right, I have so to, I want to run on to this, but you see, I would, I would like to um, hop on what we just said earlier because I actually know of a story. Three years ago, a lady got a 90 millionaire inheritance from her father. And she gave everything to church. Ew. Handed it over totally. Three years on, today she doesn't have anything. Ew. Jobless and looking for money. And she's filled with regrets. May I fall now, down? it doesn't mean that it is wrong what she did. Eh? Eh? Listen, the point I'm trying to make is that <laughs> she didn't hear personally. Because some people hear directly from yes, God. Yes, some people. And because God has instructed you to put that money down, he will give make you, he will make a provision for you and yes. he will bless you. Yes. But she didn't get that conversation. She didn't have that one-on-one. That -on -one. Mm -hmm. she, she, she was probably just going along with the flow. Like, oh, it's, oh. It's, uh, let us just give and give. And she did. And today, oh. she's not better for it. So I would like to go back to what you said. It is personal. Mm. If you're going to give and you know it is you, please do. Because I have given well, and it has worked for me. Million, but if it doesn't ah, work for me, ah, I don't understand. I'm not going If that figure hasn't gone off my. Sorry. I'm not trying to fall down. Like, no, see, I just want to ask Zoya, please, if someone does that and gives to church and then you come and then you relent, can you sue the. Can you go back to court and say, I've changed my mind, I want my money back? No, you're proving the intention. If the person did not defraud you. Hey. For you to think it now, she's not used to do it now. Hey. No, 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 no. Can, I can I finish my wrap-up? <laughs> so the wrap-up is that okay. if God tells you, because there are people that have sold their entire God their cars, a burden, you can't and God, listen, me. and if God asks you to give up that thing, you'll be surprised. There's he will make provision. provision. Yes. Yes. That's the point I'm trying to make. Yes. Yes. That if you have the instruction to drop 90 million, drop it, because hey. you've got to make provision. Hey. Hey. If your faith can carry it, carry it. But if you don't have that personal word from God, please do not. You will not give you such a personal word. I, I mean, you cannot give me anyway. On that you, note, let us go. Since you have started <laughs> something else, you cannot go. I don't want you to go and say, Morel said, go and give our family service. So. I did not say that. I said, I mean, hear from God, please. 90 M. Where's going to break up? We come back. We'll now talk about a new topic. We'll hopefully close this chapter. We have a full break. But, but. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Okay, so internet trolls, we're going to talk about a story, Nigeria's youngest commissioner, Joanna <coughs> Kolo, who is 26 years old, mm. uh, I think it's in Kwara State, I believe. Yes. Uh -huh. So she was accused of unfollowing people on social media immediately after her appointment. So there the, was the speculation of why are you now yeah, following, you're in office now, you want to unfollow people. But people have been coming around saying that there are also people who troll you. And the fact they're like professional trolls today, As in, who yeah. actually their job is just when to seek you out and then begin to troll. Um, I, I, I'd like to start with you because I know you're interested in this topic. As in. what, have, what have been your experience? And would, would you have asked her to do what she did of following people? Or as a public servant, at least continue to have your followers? What would you have advised? It's not a crime to unfollow anybody, as long as they're not buying your data. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
most times you need a like peace that. of mind mm. for your <laughs> mental health you need to do away with toxic people yep. right. there are a lot of toxic people out there that are jobless they are depressed they are oppressed they are upset that they think god is blessing you and isn't blessing them and mm. they move from page to page mm. to insult people mm. these are bad mannered ill-trained children Whoa. who do not have on a normal day so no, it's place. painful it's from a deep place. Deep on a normal day they your pain. domestic help mm. will take care of them mm. but because of that you know that social media space where everybody i'm now the same age with auntie joker here and i can I have access to her on a normal day who am i to have mm. access to her <laughs> with her age her achievements and everything but because we're all there everybody yeah. seems Blinded. to be the same people now go on people's pages, you see something you think you don't like, and instead of you to walk on by or unfollow, you sit down and you start insulting people that can you take care of you, give birth to you, and bless your life tomorrow <laughs> in, on a normal day. So it's, it's, it's something that, you know, I want us to really start talking about how young people can use their time productively. Mm. But well, you'd be surprised that it's not always young people, Miriam. It's not always young people. There are actually some people who Adults, have, they, they have to, they don't have any work to do. Mm. Their only just to start trolling people. But at the same time, some people have found some kind of um, therapy from, from all these trolls. Because sometimes these trolls tell you the truth. In some, in some, case, in some cases, they are trolls. They don't, have, they, they, don't, they don't have truth in them. But the point is that sometimes people, I, I know somebody who... She was depressed, she had issues. People sent her negative messages, but it helped her to find out, okay, maybe there are certain things I need to fix in my life. And today she's better for it. So maybe it's not all bad all the time. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find a middle no, ground. Maybe for her, that's, 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 that's an exception. I don't agree. For me, for me, that's an exception because mm. I believe that negativity causes more negativity. Yeah. A lot of people have ended their lives yes. yeah. because of cyberbullying. Right. Yes. I mean, there's no, there's no good that comes out of it, except in this particular case mm. that you have mentioned. And my own is, I understand sometimes there used to be a time when I would be upset, but now I'm actually sad because I know it can never come from a place of joy. Mm. There's nobody that is truly happy, truly succeeding, mm. that would sit down and just and write negative things. Every time I'm on social media, I notice that I follow people who are, in my opinion, better than I am, you know, that I aspire to be like, that, you know, just do things in the way that I, I wish I could do. I don't go for people that I think, you know, I'm better doing better than, than you. Sure. I don't see them. Yeah. So if you put, although someone also said that, you may say that you're a hater because you're following me and sending me all these things. But if you had a dress you didn't like, would you wear it every day and say, oh, I hate this dress I'm wearing, and then wear it the next day? <laughs> you will throw it away. Maybe you don't really hate me. Exactly. Maybe you truly Nile. just love me, <laughs> and you don't know how to express it. There are ways to express okay, it. Well, there are words like, oh, you look beautiful. Mm. I, what you said, I don't understand it. Could you explain it? Thank this you. This is my own point of view, okay. but this is so different Maybe from what I'm to used to. Jacob, Maybe. Have, have you expressed this issue of trolls? Because mm. I, I wow. Know. Wow. What a question. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, I like you to share, like to share <laughs> some of your experiences with these trolls. <laughs> <coughs> now, the very first one <coughs> that I really experienced on a massive scale was at the, um, after the elections, mm -hmm. I posted a picture of the APC leaders and I said, congratulations. Now, hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. We have to do this. We have to do that. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, <laughs> you should oh, have Jesus. seen the hounds sure. of the Baskervilles came That's out for me. And uh, over almost about 10,000. You are this, you are that. Holoshi. Like that. Uh, Imagine. Like, who and, uh, I, I, no, you see, and usually for me, when I do what I do, I've done and I've moved, I've moved yes. on. You know, it's just something That's that like I, 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 yes, and I just, it was somebody that said, called me and said, Joke, are you okay? I said, yeah, I'm fine. What, what's going on? Yeah. Uh, Obviously, well, you have no saying. <laughs> so, <laughs> I went, so I went and I saw, ha, ha. I said, Kiladju. You know, Kiladju, Kiladju. Now, when I, I'm a Christian, and what my, what my faith teaches me is that I must pray for my Your leaders. leaders. Mm -hmm. You know? Now, if you don't like Buhari, you don't like Koshibaju, you don't like, you don't like, it's okay. 
Let us have a, you know, let's have a discussion. Yes. Now, what, you don't like them. Why don't you like them? What is it that they, me, I like them. Let, let me explain why I like them. I believe that, you know, I, and I believe that Nigeria cannot move with only one party. We must have two parties in place. And then if you, I, anyway, shall that's a discussion for another. So, but I looked at this thing and I said, but this is me with the family. But did it get to you? Personally, did it hurt you? It didn't hurt me. I just made me angry. Mm. Do you understand? But then I looked at it and I said, well, this is me with a supportive, with a, with a family, you know, with a strong base. Right. Now, what if it was a young person mm. who doesn't have that strong base, Thank that you. Thank strong you. belief? They, that person can commit suicide. Yes. yes. Because I, 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 had, I, had, I had that, had that situation of young similar people. last year. Was it last year? My, my, own, my drama happened yeah, last yeah, year. Yeah, last year. And, I mean, More I was 2018. thankful that... So 2018. I was thankful that my husband stood by me. I mean, it was a, it was a hard time. Mm. Um, I, 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 and, and you see, I could handle it because honestly, the truth is that it didn't hurt me because mm. I knew that I could handle it. But it was the effect on my family. That's what I was asking you that. Mm. Did it hurt you such that those around you would start feeling like, ah, Mariah, you should have known better now. Why would you say that kind That's of thing? Oh, what, that, I, what, that was wrong for you. No, 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 who said that? No. So that, those, that was the pressure I had. I was doing fine. Yes. But it was the it was the fact that I had to manage Absolutely. those around me mm. who, who felt that this was embarrassing to them, them because they associated with me. That was the issue. And trolls don't understand that part. Mm -mm. They feel it's just you they're attacking. You, yeah. well, it's, it's beyond that. That's why you have to... It's because of people like that and people who cannot handle it that they created all the blocking device. Yes. And I don't just block on social media. I love to block on my phone number. <laughs> so yes. that you have access to the number does not give you rights. Mm. So I've had a fair deal mm. of this. Mm. In fact, I've had my child be called names. I've had someone cost that my yeah. entire family. So we did yes, the now, yes, yeah. they do. We they go the, the, recent, the recent one. <laughs> so usually, I don't read comments. I don't reply. I don't have the time. Because yeah. the one time I tried to have a conversation, I said, this one is not even up my level mm -mm. of understanding. You cannot understand what I'm trying to explain. Mm -hmm. Remain there, die like that. So I now we did a topic here. And everybody took a stand on the hate bill and the mm, death sentence. Yeah, Someone had to take a different stance. Mm. They don't understand that on the show, I love to dissent. Mm. And I did it, I did it well. And if it's not the show, you're allowed to dissent anyway. That is not up to 21 years. Comes on Facebook and says that death, sen uh, death uh, hanging should spread in someone's family. Because ah, I don't want to wish him such a thing. Mm. My Muslim spirit said, and I saw the message, he tagged me, tagged me, tagged me so much I could see it. <laughs> I said, what is this? Why are you following me up you and down? Your eye. <laughs> it was a private message. He writes, I don't write comment, I didn't read it. He sent me a direct message. I can't read that. I said, ah, bros you. I then went to his page and I looked at his profile and said, ah, this boy is not up to 21. Mm. I'm with this person. But then my dog girl said, no, they cannot be abusing me. <laughs> they cannot be abusing me and Akokia's daughter <laughs> when I'm not a bastard. So I took my time. I gave him very well. I then blocked him. You're dealing with it. Mm. Yes. Let me take this call. So, so Good times. morning. Are you there? Thanks for calling. I'm here. I'm here. Murayo, you are very young. Sorry my for credit. You. Murayo. Sorry about that. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I want to appreciate her, Sister Joke, you know, your yeah. guest, yeah. Uh, and her husband. Yeah. They have been so marvelous. Yeah. We appreciate yeah. you in the moving industry. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. God continue to be with you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, Sister Murayo, you see, the, the point is that on your last topic, Nigerian, we, we put too much load on God. Mm. It's, 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 in fact, to me, is the only Nigeria that is in this universe? <laughs> we have America, we have Japanese, we, 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 we have Chinese. We put more body on God. Yes. You understand? Yes. So, see, see, and, they, and, and, and that does not stop. With our wickedness, with our oppression that we are doing to ourselves. Look at what Nima said. It depends on what you do to people, that, what, that is what God wants. Mm. Some people okay. have abundant money. Okay. You know, they're generation to generation, they cannot finish it. They continue to oppress people. Mm. We, in fact, we put more, too much burden on God in this country. And that's why it leads us to, you know, all this kind of position we have ourselves. You know, yeah. Yeah, that's why we find out, you know, Thank all you. this kind of uh, kidnapping and uh, yeah. using people yeah. for money. Yeah. Thank you very so, much. Thank you. I really, agree. Yeah. I, I, I really agree with that because one of the things that really gets on my nerves is the number of churches and mosques that are being built all over the place no for God's sake. No industry, no, no factory, school, no, no hospitals. We have to pray now. It's we will God, no, 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 no. God will help us. I mean, how else will God help us? No. There's God, a tweet. Let's say this tweet. Life as African says, hashtag Nigeria, no day Bible, please. Abraham, no be on 
So why I go pay pastor my cash out? Let's go back to this pastor topic. Let's move on. Let's move on. It's just because he mentioned it. On the throw, you need to keep your sanity. And the thing of the social media platforms have created things to help you keep your sanity. We, those of us that are that are out there, we are actually it's easier for us to keep our sanity because we know the terrain. Yes. But we we need to appeal to our family and loved ones because when these things come, they must understand. I always tell my husband, don't read the comments. What is that comment gone? You will be. <laughs> don't read this comment because it's unnecessary. Yes. I've, yes. Honestly, till today, only when my, my PA or my, my assistant, she'll just call me, ah, Ma, please look at this the comment. So mm. she, 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 she um, what they call that thing? Screen grab. Screen grab, grab yeah. and send to me. And I'll now go and check it out because honestly, I have other things I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So, Mariah, you, you know the, why it's important to read comments is you have people who are, you know, looking up to you, who appreciate your yes, work. Yes, that's true. So you read and you see that they are saying, well done for this. Yeah. Why did you do this and all of that? So you engage. Those you know, we are here to engage, engage our people. Yes. We're not just aloof. Do yes, your thing and yes. I see you on the road and I yes. take away my face. But yes. the fans are making it difficult for us to relate with them because mm. now you're going to be suspecting everybody. Right. But mm. when you are able to look through the comments, you they, they actually lo love it when you appreciate them. Mm. Like, ah, she responds to her messages mm, she does this mm, but when you now see a lot of uh, um, trolling like me i will block you there block you real life if i see you i think that yeah. sorry there's just something i'd also like to mention and you know use this opportunity to also thank people who um you know, no, no, no. They, when you are being trolled, they come out in your defense. Yeah, this time, yeah. they're like your we warriors. We need a name for you, those ones. Yes, yeah. yeah. they are. The, I, I call yeah. my, my Instagram warriors. They come mm -hmm. out there, and as we are saying one thing, yeah, they're they're back. Back. Then, yeah. you know, oh man, I love <laughs> you. Love guys. You. We love you, Instagram warriors. <laughs> Thank you. Let me take Thank this you. call that I come to me. Good morning. Are you there? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead, please. Uh, my name is Chibroti Me Williams, and I'm a, I'm a first time caller. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Happy New Year to you all. Yes, Happy New Year. Please permit me to digress a little bit. Okay. I've, I've been trying to call you things, I mean, your last segment of the show. It's okay. And that is, uh, please kindly permit me to. It's your view, it. Lady Counts. Go ahead, please. Thank you, darling. Um, <laughs> you see, it's so unfortunate that we Africans. We, we are being colonized physically and spiritually. Mm. Unfortunately, uh, particularly we, the Christians, if you read Ephesians chapter 4, verse 14, it is well stated there. But unfortunately, I have been abroad, I spent most of my years abroad. The way that we take Christianity and the way we portray or we... we, we, we we come up with these laws that, to me, that are not even, you can't even find it in the Bible. Mm. It's so unfortunate. Ew. But um, even the white people that colonize us, that brought Christianity, mm. the things we practice there is totally different from the way they practice Christianity now. Thank you, my Like brother. that my beautiful lady has said, yes, if God speaks to you, mm. it is you. It does not mean what, thing, what God says to you, everybody I'm must do. So that is my contribution this morning. God bless Thank you all. You. I love Thank you, you. Thank Thank you, bless you. Okay, so going back to topic. So I'm not really for warriors or trolls mm. for me. You know, because a troll today is a warrior yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow. And, uh, so for me, what's important is be decent yeah, in yes. your communication. Yes. And I try to... I really don't read the comments. See, my mental health is really important. <laughs> yes, so and I'm yes. very, I'm a, and, and I'm a sensitive I person, you. so I don't lie about that. So it's important to me that I keep my circle positive. Yeah. So mm. I'll go through some comments and um, I'll respond to some of them. Some people would ask me, you know, really questions. valid questions. Mm. Like, I don't agree with you. How could you have yes. said this? Mm. You know, and I would respond to um, that. Yes. So there was one particular person, I think, sent a message and said, oh, Miriam said something well today. I think you read it but she's blocked me so she won't hear me. I'm like, I don't need your, I don't need your, your praise if you're going to use the same exactly. mouth to bring exactly. me down. You know, so I, I, you. let's be decent. Yes. There's a particular, I, I want us to also talk, there's this particular person we say we would like to call out, um, not call out, just appreciate them. Andrew and Shretham, Ehi, these are people that are always tweeting, but Ehi in particular, 
when you do, when you say something he agrees with, he will mention. Yeah, he when you say face. something you, he does not agree with, he would say to in a decent way. You have a conversation and you learn. Yeah. You know, I learn a lot also after the show from mm. people mm. to say because of the conversations I've had, mm. I will get a different perspective. Mm. But I don't engage um, uh, in decent now, people. So what, I don't. What I, what I do, I'm not saying what you do is wrong, but I don't read comments. Someone has to call my attention to the comments for mm. me to even read them. Right. Mm. So what I do is that if you need to have a conversation about a standard taken on the show, send me a DM. I will see the way you write her, whether it deserves a reply. Mm. If I do not see that it deserves a reply, I would never reply it. Yeah. It's just the same sanity thing. Mm. Because some people, they don't... Yeah, yeah, I, was saying, I was saying one. earlier that I, as, as you grow older, you mm. really value positive energy. Yes. I was saying, I, was saying, I, 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 said, I made a post the other day that as I'm growing older, I realized that how, it's in, how important it is to have people who, who are clean and positive around yes. you. So, it's so important. Okay. That negative energy must just go. So, yes. you, you, you okay. can't... So, so for, for, for the purpose of this virtual world that we are all living in now, <laughs> for that purpose alone. <laughs> because where we are here, mm. and some people have created their time to use data to do trolls and warrior. So people are using, imagine when we were doing the Wimbies, they set up a meeting online. I will follow a link and I will enter conference meeting. Did you know that by the time I was done following link, they don't finish meeting. Mm. Because what, all that I understand what to do in Nigeria here is to throw, 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 throw. People abroad have set, used virtual world to achieve things. Businesses mm. are going, you can mm -hmm. have meetings with people in China, mm -hmm. and things are moving, mm -hmm. Nigerians are not focusing mm -hmm. on how that one will go. So a small person will just continue, and, and these are young minds doing these things everywhere in the world. So we, what we are doing here, truly, truly, we are far from it. So I don't have that time. I'm looking for money. I have seen, um, I've followed a lot of big people, and I've noticed that they don't go, busy people don't go around people's pages. They don't have time. They don't, don't, have, time. They don't have the time. Even me now that I I'm just do starting do in my busy life, media. I don't even have time to look through all the comments that come to me exactly. because I don't have that time. I'm moving on. And it's, it's very important that we you know, focus on positive energy because we are energies. And what we emit is what comes back to us. Mm. If I want positive things to happen in my life, I have mm. to surround myself with positive people, happy so let's, people. Let's go back to Joanna. Up. Kolo, the, the young commissioner. Okay. So well, now yeah, she has unfollowed a lot of people. Yeah. And they're saying it's because now that she's a government official, mm -hmm. she doesn't, she doesn't see, she's no more at their level. Mm -hmm. Would you advise her to to? No, nope. I mean, they're entitled. Please, she's entitled, entitled, entitled to unfollow. <laughs> <laughs> they're entitled. It's the sense of entitlement. <laughs> yeah. making them say that. Yeah. Yes. So mm -hmm. uh, appointment is not an election. You do not vote her. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you, they appointed her. Can I just yeah, add something? Also, I think a lot of young people came onto social media. You know, it's not like you had any um, experience how to handle social media, how to behave. Mm -hmm. And then you came on and you found people just insulting people mm -hmm. and talking mm -hmm. anyhow. So probably for those of you that maybe you don't realize that that's not the way to behave, I would just like to you know use this opportunity to say that's not how you behave. You don't go on social media to insult. Forget those are biased that just you know write anything. They are not trained. Yes, they are not trained. So you. The way you've been brought up at home to be polite to people in your regular daily lives, yeah, take, take that same energy to social oh, media. Right. On that okay. note, we can end that. When we come back, we'll focus now on our guests. We'll interview yes. her, find out what she's working on, what's happening in her <laughs> life, where she loves to travel to, what she likes to eat. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Yes, she remains one of Nigeria's most successful actors who began her career in, in, on stage, actually, okay. back in the, uh, 1981. And she's featured in over um, 300 Nigerian movies. And also, okay. she's done Yoruba and English movies, right? <laughs> and, and, and you said when I was in, I wasn't tell you the, when I was born, but around <laughs> the time I was born, you know? And she's wow. still very relevant today. We welcome with us again, Mr. Ajoke Silva. To have you. Thank you for having we me. Thank out. you. We I've been having you. fun. I, mean, I know we're having fun. <laughs> so we, we see you on stage. We see you in movies. What are you working on? What's happening? What's going on in your life today? Um, right now, I'm working on a script um, on a, called Ada the Country, uh, you know, a theatrical ah. play. Oh, that's true. I've got to that. Yes, Ada the Country, and it's um, going on at uh, the Muson Center right till Sunday, 3 p.m., 7 p.m., you know, every day till Sunday, this Sunday. And every time I'm asked about it, I always say I feel so fortunate wow. to be working on it. It's been written by a young lady called Titi Lokwe Shonoda, okay. who has written the kind of script 
that reminds you of why mm. you came into the industry, industry. in the wow. first place. Wow. Beautiful. Yes. I would love to see yes. that. Mm. Um, I, I know that I also that uh, Lala directed it. Yes. And, and she's also and, brilliant. And, and also, I, and I think, you know, when, when, when you see the way that Lala has directed it, she's also directed it in such a way that it is the, the, the story, the script that is you know, that is elevated, you know, you see, because it's, it's written in such a way that they, there's a danger in which you, you, uh, it, it's very lyrical, very poetic. Mm. And so you could now start going, oh, la di da da di la la says, no, please. <laughs> you have a conversation with whoever yeah. it is that yeah. you're working yeah. on yeah. with on stage. So Lala has done an incredible. Let's talk about yeah. your role in the play. What is what is your part? What exactly? Who is Mrs. who is Ada? Yeah. <laughs> Ada is um, Ada is is played by Kate Henshaw. Okay. And you know, first of all, I think the thing about the the, 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 the yes <laughs> is the is you know the 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 title Ada the country. You know. And it's, it's a play that celebrates women and says that we are a country yeah. because of all the things that we do, you know. And um, I play the part of Mama Femi, who is, you know, my, my character, she, um, Titi Lokwe uses my character to interrogate the relationship between mothers and their daughters, That's awesome. mothers and their sons, mm -hmm. mother-in-laws, da mm. daughters-in-law, in-law relationship. She uses my character to interrogate those issues. Yes. So, you know, it seems to me anytime I see, you know, something that has to do with all women, you know, the men always feel like all these feminists mm -hmm. again. Mm. You know, they, they just abandon us. Mother's Day, we have like 15 <laughs> in a year, and they, we, they have struggle to have one day, <laughs> half yes. a day. Some yes. of their wives don't even remember. <laughs> yeah. So, um, is it, are, are we trying to make it seem like women are more important? You know, is, is, is there a message around feminism that exactly. you're trying to pass with this? Right. No, I think what it is, is that over the years, there has been a lot of patriarchy, but I'm not mm. saying that in a negative sense. It's the fact that, you know, on the mar in the marketplace, men have always ruled. Dominated. And so, yeah, exactly, they've dominated and they've done things to suit themselves, as anybody would, you know. And, um, but the thing is that when God created us, he created us male and female. Yeah. For, for a very good reason, because there are some issues that a man, the, a, a man will see things in one way, but a woman will see it from another perspective. Right. And when the two perspectives come together, then you have a whole, right. yeah. you know? So it's like, um, for example, now you're saying that, oh, we need a well in this place. Okay, as the man, we have to go and build a well here. That, you know. But the woman will tell you that. Oh, we are the ones going to fetch the, fetch the water. If you take the well here, the, especially the young it's girls, there's, there's, they, there's a shadow on this side. They can be attacked mm. here. So why don't you put the well Close here? Yeah. Because they're the together. ones who... Do you understand? So it's not as if we're saying, no, we're saying that we, we are both important. Mm -hmm. So for now, I think what it is is that women are saying that here outside of the, the story, story yeah. so that we can work together. together. I, wow. I, I, I'm not, I, I am a feminist, but I do not believe in male bashing. Mm. I love my husband. I'm really excited about um, what many young people in the industry are doing and that you know because see we when people like you are involved in any project they're like it has to be good yeah. Thank you. because you have pedigree mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and the way you you just um, interpret your character and we just always feel that you can only be associated with something excellent, excellent. and then to see that you're working with such young people and you trust them, you know, to work with them. How, what, how, how do you feel about this new energy that we have in our industry? Well, I think um, I work with young people who have uh, a yearning for excellence. Mm. So someone like Lala, mm. <laughs> that girl, she wants everything must be so she, she will push and push and get it as near perfect as possible. Mm -hmm. I like that kind of energy. 
um, people like Kate Henshaw, Bimbo Aketala, they've been in the business for, mm -hmm. for a long time, mm -hmm. you know. And, and then we, ha we have some young, incredible, amazing um, thespians in Adelaoye, in Chigo, in... Um, in uh, <laughs> um, Dara Egerton Shingo, and of course another young lady whose whose voice is Golden. is a dream, mm. you know, only chilled um, Odi, you know. So it, it, when I work with young people who are just striving for excellence, who believe, I think that is it, who believe that it doesn't have to be outside of this country that we achieve excellence. Mm. Mm. For me, that has always been an issue. Right. You, you know, it, it, you, there are people in Nigeria who believe in excellence. Do you believe and in Nigeria? Totally. But mm. well, there are people living every single day. Yes. What would you tell them? Nigeria, we, I, I think for us in Nigeria, Nigeria has come into a space where she hasn't been allowed to make her mistakes under cover of anonymity. Mm. What do I mean by that? By the time we started, you know, social media is out there. Mm. Everything is out there. So and, and there are mistakes that other countries, other have, countries made. have made. Mm. There was no social media. Yeah, there was no social media at the time. Do you understand? Mm. But now for us, we're doing those things and it's all there. All so every time we talk about our country, we talk about it with such um, disdain. That's it. But I think you're just day. being kind. No, I'm not being. No, I'm not being <laughs> kind. I'm not being kind <laughs> because you see, my my. I was brought up by parents who, yes, things worked, but there were things that didn't work as well. Mm -hmm. My mother was always a Nigerian, but you know, everything had to. Ah, she would rather buy a, a Nigerian meat mm. or Nigerian well, soap before she would mm, buy something boring. from abroad. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at um, England, there was a time when England was begging people, please buy British. Mm. I was in England at the time. Mm. So say, and you would buy their, their British uh, sausages that had bones that that is, no matter what, still buy it. British. Mm. Do you support understand? Your brand. Yeah, support your brand. So the thing is that we are making Nigeria, we are, we are, we are promoting Nigerian rice now. It's not perfect, but it's, ours. I love it. It is ours. ours. And a lot of the foreign ones we are... It's and almost so, perfect. So, so yeah, exactly. And then a lot of the foreign ones that we are buying, yeah. they actually aspire to... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. So much. it's coming from, it's coming from their bank. And they're giving it to our people almost free. Mm. So you bring it and by the time it arrives on us, those things have expired. They are mm. dangerous. Mm. So mm. please... I believe in Nigeria <laughs> totally. Let us make our mistakes. Let us fight amongst yeah. ourselves. Yeah. We're a family. Yes. We will fight. We will disagree. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we, we will set to I believe with you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted to talk about this under the country, particularly yes. because as a Muslim girl, I was told the saying of the prophet that if you educate a woman, you educate a nation, emphasizing the importance of the role of a woman to the point the emphasis on the woman and the rights of the woman in the Quran made me almost a feminist. Mm. Because women, women, just women, mm. right? You can hardly have a sermon. I remember my dad did a sermon and he was quoting the Quran and people mm. were like, mm. and men were walking out because they felt he was just advocating too much of women's rights. So I wanted you to address the issues that, you know, uh, uh, were addressed in the play that were particular about a girl child, just to you know, to open the minds of people, mm. not to think, oh, there's a feminist play, but some mm. issues that are core, that affect mm. girls every day, that, you know, that people should look out for in the play. Okay, one that comes readily to mind is that a woman in the workplace who has worked so hard to get to probably the top of her profession, and she arrives at a meeting, and then you tell her to go and make the tea. Egbe. Do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> do, do, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's almost as if, oh, she's a woman. She cannot be the boss. Mm. Maybe her boss is still coming. Mm. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. yes. You, you know, so please go and make the tea when your boss arrives. Mm -hmm. Especially when you are people like yourself that are slim and all that, people you know, like very them. small, you know, because he has... People don't say... Uh, no, um, now um, saying to be up Billy Awoshika mentioned it mm -hmm. when she celebrated 30. 
you know, 30 years of her, of her industry. You know, she just walks into a place and they say, okay, please sit down, you know, just let us know when your boss arrives. She said, what? Excuse me, I'm the I'm boss. The boss. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine yeah, that. Yeah, do you understand? So, you know, there are those things. What else? And then there's also this issue, I mean, it's been out there, but we really need to have a sense of responsibility when we have young people in our care. Mm. And so just simply because I have female students doesn't give you the right to harass them. Mm. They Preach are it. in your care. Yeah. They are, they could be your daughter, they could even be your wife, mm. they could even be, I went to, I went to university after having two children, because I really didn't want to go mm. in the first place, I just mm. wanted to do my acting. <laughs> you know, and my parents let me have my head. <laughs> and so when I decided, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll try Kenya University. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Let's try this university. <laughs> yeah. So I went, and I went to university. Two children, no? Mm. There was still a professor that I harassed. Imagine that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he failed. Yeah, beautiful. See, we need we need to continue. No, but not not need, so, so these are issues, and it has nothing to do with the way the girls dress. Yes, okay. please. Right. It has nothing to do with that. Yeah. So you know, those are issues that are. We need also to have these conversations. Okay. We need to continue to keep this okay. conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And then, sorry, then yeah. there's also the conversation of our men. We are not, you know, um, them. We, we we need to raise them in a way that we are not to put in too much pressure, pressure on them. them. Yeah. It is, don't feel that you have to be the only, you have to do this, you have to do that. As the it man. Is, yeah, yes, as the man, I, I, I'm not allowed to cry. As the man, I must yeah. do. You have a empire. That's why they call it yeah, mm. the, 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 it Was the issue of um, the, the, the part where it's natural for women to do house, to keep the home. Because sometimes women break under the burden of managing the home. And it's a shame. You are a disgrace to womanhood. Mm. Yeah. Kind of Your mother did, did, did it. This, did this play address some of those issues where you just overburden yourself with this it's, responsibility? It's, it's, definitely, it's definitely there. Yeah. You no, know, okay. Ada has a line. Mm. And every time I hear her say those lines, I, mm. I say, you know, um, <clears throat> It says, I, I get stretched so thin. Hmm. I just needed time right. for me. Right. Mm. Mm. Me I time. want to see this flow. Okay. So yeah, if, yeah, we yeah, want to <coughs> run, you know, but I think a lot of us want to know what your favorite color is. I mean, <laughs> you know, just those the routine. Every, every yeah, day everyday routine. <laughs> Why do you take so much coffee? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think like that, and no cream. No cream. You know, well, the only like reason that. why I'm not taking cream at the moment is that I'm being asked to sing, and okay. it's not my comfort zone. Okay. So, cream clogs up your throat, right, so right. you, it's, you need to do everything you know, without cream. But I take coffee because I have low blood pressure. Mm. Oh, so and so, um, one of the advice I was given by the doctor yeah. was that before I get out of bed, I must get. I must coffee. drink a cup oh, of coffee. Nice. So my husband always brings me coffee. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. love your husband. Oh, we have to talk the love story. Oh, yes. The love story. Yes. We, so we love it. We need to. But, but, but now that that's so much older, yeah. I mean, the, the We have to bring it back. Like, <laughs> but we have, we, have to, we have to, and I think I asked you this question last time. Yes. Do you guys still do the do? Uh, she answered you well. Yeah, we do the do in a way that is appropriate for our age. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Goodness <laughs> oh okay. my God, Mariah! <laughs> you see, we don't know now. Mariah! Thank you so much. On that note, have a fabulous day. <laughs> and just leave and see Jackie's gone. Do the do. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> see you Monday. Bye-bye. <laughs>